Our next unit is on polynomials, and we've done a little bit of this with our adding and subtracting, but we're going to get into the meat of it now. So our notes today are going to be on multiplying polynomials. So if you would add that to your table of contents after you've put it in your journal. Um, keep in mind, we've talked about what a polynomial is. Remember, a polynomial is simply going to have many terms. That is the definition, um, because poly means many. Um, remember, we list our polynomials in order of alphabet and exponent, meaning highest to lowest. Um, and remember, we also have uh, the degree of our polynomial. is the highest exponent. If we have two exponents, um, for example, if I have x to the fourth y, which is technically y to the one, then, th then we would need to add them and this would be a degree of five. Um, but if we only had x to the fourth, it would be a four. So let's look at multiplying polynomials. We've already talked about adding and subtracting. Um, Sometimes we have a monomial times um, a binomial. So we have one term times a two term. Remember, this is still a binomial because there are two terms, even though one of them is a constant. And this should look very familiar to you because this is simply going to be distributing. And we've done this. So you would say 6x times 4x plus 6x times 5. So 6 times, this goes back to our exponent rules, which is why we did that first. So 6 times 4 is 24. x times x is x squared. 6 times 5 is 30, and there is our x. Okay, so that is a monomial times a binomial. Sometimes we do have exponents outside, um, besides just our ones right here. So maybe we have um, 3x squared times negative 2x to the third plus 6x. So still the same concept, 3x squared times a negative 2x to the third plus 3x squared times 6x. So then 3 times a negative 2 is a negative 6. x squared times x to the third. Remember, the rule when we are multiplying is to add our exponents. 2 plus 3 is 5. 3 times 6 is 18. And this goes back to what we were talking about before, is you need to just multiply your coefficients. And then x to the second times x. So 2 plus 1 is 3. OK? Sometimes they get a little bit bigger. Sometimes we have a binomial times a binomial. And we can do that in a couple of different ways. Um, I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do this with some different examples. Um, the first example I'm going to give you um, is x plus 6 times x plus 3. Now, uh, in science, you talked about Punnett square. So one way that you could do this is to create a Punnett square, a two by two. You could technically do this with the monomial times the binomial also. So you have x plus six and x plus three. And kind of like you learned in elementary school with your times table chart, x times x is x squared, x times six is six x, three times x is three x, and three times six is 18. So when then you when you write that out, you have x squared plus 6x plus 3x plus 18, and you can collect like terms in the middle. x squared plus 9x plus 18 to get your simplification. Um, this is called the box method. Um, that is not a requirement. I simply want to show you some different ways to do this. 
Um, we can also use what is called the FOIL method. So I'm going to use this same example. Um, I'm just going to write it down a little bit so I can write FOIL here. And the FOIL method is a uh, expanded distributive property method where you can go through and you can you're going to say so FOIL starts uh, stands for first outside inside last that's what the FOIL stands for so first means the first term in both binomials you're going to multiply those together so x times x is x squared and then you're going to take your first your your two outside terms so the x times the 3 is 3x and then you're going to multiply your inside terms which is going to be 6 times x is 6x and then your last term so 6 and 3 are the last terms in each binomial plus 18 and then again you're going to collect like terms 9x plus 18. So you can do either you can do either foil or box you're going to get the same answer no matter what. Um, sometimes they're going to try to trick you and uh, sometimes they'll write something like 3x plus 4 and they'll write a squared outside and we know that when you square something we can expand this to 3x plus 4 times 3x plus 4 so then you can use either method I'll show you both so if you're gonna do box method 3x times 3x, well 3 times 3 is 9, and x times x is x squared. 3x times 4 is 12x, 3x times 4 is 12x, 4 times 4 is 16. So you're going to get 9x squared plus 12x plus 12x plus 16. And we know that we have like terms here we can put together. So 9x squared plus 24x plus 16. Now, if you prefer to do FOIL, you could do that very easily. First terms in each one, 3 times 3 is 9. X times X is X squared. Outside terms, 3X times 4 is 12X. Inside terms, 3X times 4 is 12X. Last terms, 4 times 4 is 16. And then again, you can collect like terms. So you can see it doesn't matter which method you use. Um, and then lastly, sometimes you have super big ones. You can do um, a binomial, so a two term, times a trinomial. Okay, and this is going to, in fact, going to give you a fairly large polynomial. So I'm going to show you box method here, x squared plus x minus 3. When you do box method, make sure you're putting your signs with your terms. So x times x squared is x to the third. x times x is x squared. x times a negative 3 is a negative 3x. Negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times x is negative 2. And a negative 2 times a negative 3 is a positive 6. So when I write these out, I have x cubed plus x squared. I'm going to write my like terms next to each other. I forgot my x on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and write my net minus 2x. And then I have a minus 3x and a minus 2x, and then I have a plus 6. So I can, in fact, collect like terms twice. So x to the third, x squared minus 2x squared is going to be a negative. You could put the 1 if you want, x squared. A negative 3 and a negative 2 is a negative 5x plus 6. Okay. If you chose to do FOIL, same thing, first terms x times x squared is x cubed. But you're going to do that all the way through. So then you have x times x is x squared. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. And then your second one, negative 2 times x squared 
negative 2x squared, and I'm going to write this vertically so I can combine like terms because I know I'm going to have to do that multiple times. Negative 2 times x is a negative 2x, and a negative 2 times a negative 3 is a positive 6. So now I can just look vertically, x cubed minus x squared minus 5x plus 6. So I would like you to try for me, um, and you can put this one in the video, or in the form for the video when you're done. Let's, um, let's try this one. Let's try x plus 4 times x minus 3. And we'll come back together in class tomorrow and see how you did.